Hey, good morning, everybody. It's November 10th, 2021 in Fonskin, California, which is part of Big Bear Valley. It's just on the other side of the lake. And I had a request to do an, another off-road, and I figured, you know what, this morning would be better than any because I didn't get any or much sleep last night at all, and I just I just couldn't sleep. I just kept on rolling and rolling and rolling back and forth. So we are going to head to, uh, we're gonna make a left here, I think, yeah. I think, right, yeah, oh wait, wait, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I should know this by now. Um, okay, we're gonna turn around right here, I think. Is this right? Yeah, maybe, oh, oh, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, let's just make a U-turn here, why not? Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I think this is the right way. I think we, we are, I'm trying to go to three and 19. This is where, this gentleman wanted me to check out. Actually, a couple, a couple people had mentioned this side, and I think we'll end up driving by Holcomb eventually on this, if this is the right road. But yeah, good to see everybody today. Hope everyone's well. Um, yeah, wish we had some snow coming, but unfortunately, there's nothing in the forecast. It's quite a bummer, but it is what it is. Obviously, I'm watching up north get snow and just bummed as usual. Wow, Southern California just always left out. You would think with all the smog in the air, it would condense and turn to snow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Oh, whoa, look at this private place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Man, there's some, wow. Oh, wow, look at these gates to enter these properties. That is freaking cool. Guys, I never realized they had these exquisite mansions up here. Oh, wait, yeah, that's a huge mansion. Holy crap. This is, guys, I forgot about this road. This has been a few years since I've been on this dang road. On this dang road. Eagle Summit. Look at this person's house. Come on now. Nice driveway. Eagle Summit. Look at their nice fence, too. That is so cool. Oh, man. Look at all these big, beautiful properties. Oh, we're on a dirt road now. We're in the right place, guys. We are in the right place. I think we are in the right place. I believe this is the 3N19. If it's not, I am absolutely ridiculously sorry. I'm gonna be honest, be totally honest. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm being honest, I have no idea. I tried to look online and stuff and it looked like this was the area. So, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Get out of here, shirt. You're, you're making everything all freaking, I don't know, reflective and crap. <laughs> all right, yeah, we got issues. Guys, you know what was cool? I was in Boost Mobile, um, visiting one of my closest friends, Jeff, he's part owner there, up here. Anyway, when I was in there, someone, a, a customer was there, paying for their thing or getting their phone fixed and they recognized me from this channel they're like oh my gosh no i was the one who was like oh my gosh <laughs> but uh yeah pretty cool man i tell you guys that happens often but like once it gets to be like this time of year and colder the past couple years i've 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 been getting recognized it must be because i have a ridiculous amount of videos out there and it's pretty hard to avoid them <laughs> because there's so many of them I mean, no matter what you do, you could like block it and like somehow it, it'll like come through because there's so many of them. YouTube system can't, can't, can't withstand it. It's like, oh no, 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 not another Big Bear weather video, no! Damn it, no! Who's this guy think we are? I, yeah, so poor YouTube. I feel sorry for YouTube. I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> I love you guys, man. You guys are always so loving towards me and so respectful. Um, the respect thing is awesome. It's, it's the loving thing, man. That's there's 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 so much beauty out there, you guys. You guys are you guys are a beautiful people. You guys are definitely a beautiful people. Look how cool this road is, man. I forgot how awesome this is back here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stuff this shirt in between this thing that's making all the jiggle jangle sound. Jiggle jangle. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna rip that out of the glove compartment box. Uh, I'm gonna rip the screws out accidentally. That didn't really help too much. That didn't help too much at all. 
shove that thing back in there a little bit. There's another house right back there behind us. So yeah, um, I know this is taking us to one of the behind the mountain off-roading adventures. I had a flat tire the other day, a couple days ago, and my good friend, you guys know Dave Knight from Knight's Auto on Garston, Knight's Auto on Garston. Um, any issues you guys ever have, take your car to him. I swear, like, I, I knew him. We moved up here about the same time. We didn't know each other. He was working there. It was called Greg's Auto. Long story short, Greg retired a couple years after that. I've only been here seven years. Dave's only been here seven years now, but a couple years after he started working there as a mechanic, he bought it because Greg retired. And Dave is one of the most stand-up people I've ever met. Look at these houses just way up here. Look at this, way up here. Imagine, oh man, imagine the snow that you got up here. Um, road closed, come on, man. Are you kidding me? Here's 2N13. Why would it be closed? Unsafe for travel? Come on, you, you punks. Now, what was I saying? Oh man, see, my whole train of thought is gone. I just completely lost it. I had a great point, I'm sure. I'm sure it was fantastic, but I just can't remember it. I was gonna solve all the world's problems with with my uh, you know with my banter there, and I just forgot where I was going with it. I'm sorry, world. I am sorry. Um, gosh, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh, that's horrible, you guys. That is horrible. There's two N80 to the right of us. We just passed it. I'll try to point these out more. I'm just coming up on them too quickly, and they're just. Well, I'm flying at like 15 miles an hour. All right, let's see here. Wow, this is a really nice road. Better knock on wood. Oh yeah, Dave. Dave Knight, yes. So we moved up here the same time. He bought out Greg's auto, changed it to Knight's auto because that's Dave's last name. And uh, he's just a really stand up guy. Uh, I went on my first motorcycle ride with him. Um, when I got my first motorcycle, he rode his Harley and I rode my little crotch rocket. And then uh, I got a Harley and he, tr he sold his and got a new an another Harley and it's, uh, we go riding. He, he's just a cool guy. He's a great family guy, you guys. A great family, great father, great husband. Um, his, he just has an awesome family and he works really hard and he's very honest. He's very honest. Wow, look at all these posted signs. There's a lot of kids missing around here. Yeah, signs on every other tree. Just kidding. Just kidding. But yeah, guys, any issues you guys ever have, I always tell you guys also, like, he is such an honest guy. If you feel like you're being ripped off, here's 3N12, 3N14 road not maintained by San Bernardino. Um, which, uh, I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go. We're, yeah, we're, we're gonna do it, guys. Um, I would say uh, if you guys felt ripped off, like I would tell you guys all the time that I'd pay for your service. That's how much I know he's not gonna rip you guys off. Here's a YMCA camp. Whittle me this, whittle me that. I wish we had some snow so I could, I don't know. I couldn't think of a rhyme for that. So I could look like a cat. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, look at how pretty this is out here, man. Oh my gosh. It's cold, it's 36 degrees up here. At the bottom it was 42. So we've climbed in, in elevation. Also the sun really hasn't popped up as much up here. So we're not getting any of that radiational heat quite yet up here. Oh, 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 bump, bump, bump. In your trunk, trunk, trunk. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not maintained by San Bernardino. You know? Well then who maintains it, sir? Ask the lady. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, here's Camp Whittle again. Whittle me. Okay, Hannah Flats. Half. I have no idea where I'm going, you guys. Um, there's 2N68. What is going on here? There's too many. Oh, there's a freaking hole in that tree. I wonder if Woody's in there. Yeah, look at just cool this looks. Look at some schmucklies of beer on that freaking, look at, what an idiot. What a freaking idiot. You know what, hang on a second. No, you know what, I can't take that in the car. I was gonna put it 
I was going to take it with us to throw it away, but my luck, we'd get pulled over and that's an open container. <laughs> I go to jail for picking up trash in Fonskin. Um, yeah, I apologize, guys. If, if that was anything other than a beer, I promise you, I would have picked it up. Look, man, this place got fire raged through here. Look at this, man. I, oh, I remember driving through here years ago. Holy crime. Look, at, it's, got, it's got a lot greener. Look at all this was burned. This was all burned. Everything was burned. Oh, man, this is great. I want to keep my windows down like I always do, but since I got my car detailed a couple, like a month ago, you guys, you guys remember that? I've been trying to be really careful of all these dirt roads and keeping my windows down because the inside of my car is always a nightmare. And then it gets so bad, I just say, forget it. I'm not even going to do anything about it because it gets so overwhelming. I don't even know where to start. And then it gets to a point where it would just be too much for me. And so I got to save a couple bucks and pay for like the most expensive detail they offer. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, the guy who, who owns Fox Farm, Kit, he'll, he'll, he, he only details my car. Like for his car wash, he doesn't offer a detailing service. It's it's interesting to me, but like he enjoys helping me out like that. And what he'll do is he'll stay at the shop overnight and listen to music, drink some wine and detail the hell out of the car. But for his, for the regular Foxy's car wash, car spa. Yeah. It's just a regular drive through wash and they don't offer any details like that, but it's cool that he does that for me when I, when I need it done. Um, I've had him do it three times now, I think. Yeah. I feel kind of kind of special that he gives me those or not give he he hasn't given to me like the $350, but the guy does an amazing job. Inside every nook and cranny in the damn car, it's just completely completely just just like every place that like you can't see with your eyes where you, when when you reach your your fingers, you would definitely assume there's going to be dirt there that's not even there like he'll push the door jam completely open like and like hold it open to get those parts deep deep inside that don't even matter <laughs> like but they do matter because over time all that dirt i don't know can maybe erode stuff so um it's uh yeah i'm super grateful for him super grateful for dave gosh look at this beautiful campsite that's a campsite, you guys. You guys can go camping there. How cool is that? Now we're entering two, three and, what the? Three and 11. Are you kidding me? No, three and 14. Three and 14, now. Now Indy. I didn't kill my wife. That's not Indiana Jones. That's the last fugitive. <laughs> or no, the fugitive, not the last fugitive. <laughs> the fugitive. I didn't kill my wife. I didn't kill my wife. <laughs> I didn't kill my wife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just having too much fun. I haven't had a lot of sleep. I'm delirious a bit. But this is so beautiful. God, it's like so like cordoned off too. This like campsite down here. There's like this fence. It's so cool. Probably to, I don't know what it's to keep, keep out certain animals. I don't know. Some of these fences, you guys want to be careful. You don't want to touch them. The, <laughs> the electrified ones, there will be signs everywhere. Like uh, in Baldwin Lake, in some of the equestrian farm area, like, uh, or equestrian area, there are a few juiced up fences, you could say. You don't want to be touching those fences. No, you don't. Definitely don't. Doesn't it feel like we're like doing like a Disney tour? We're like going through like Disney's zoo. Or I did something with my dad in Orlando. Guys, I had such a, such a, I've been so fortunate. Like my dad had a place in Kissimmee, Florida. And so twice a year for I think 10 or 11 years in a row, twice a year, you guys, he would fly me because I was a, a broke joke loser bum he would fly me 
out to Orlando, pick me up at the airport, and he'd fly from his, his house in Georgia down to Florida, and we'd stay at his place in Kissimmee, and he'd buy like the seven day park hopper pass. Guys, for every park, the seven day park, every time we go, which is twice a year for two weeks at a time. So I was there a month a year. So I'd spend 14 days every year at Walt Disney World for uh, like 10 or 11 years. Um, but then for the other week, we would, we'd golf at like Walt Disney golf courses or, or do like the, um, the Richard Petty driving experience at Walt Disney Speedway. And like, it was just, it was just so much fun. But my whole point is, is that we, we did something. It, it was kind of like a Jurassic Park type of an adventure at Walt Disney World in, in, in one of their theme parks. Um, it was really neat. It was like you're going on an African safari. And this is what it's kind of reminding it's It's reminding me of it now. They had real lions and this and that. It was really, 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 really cool. Disney really brings you into a whole nother world. It's, I, I just, I've just always been so fascinated and loved Disney since I was a kid. Still do to this day. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. This is beautiful. Guys, this is really pretty. I mean, and this road is not bad at all. When it said not maintained by San Bernardino, I, I got a little worried. But at least nobody knows where I'm at right now, so we're good. <laughs> if anything happens, no big deal. Just gotta make sure we don't go over the edge here. Oh, that's a little rough there. Hey, there, hey, slow down. It really does feel like we're on like a Disney adventure. I don't know. I'm sorry, I keep on mentioning it. But this is what it feels like. It's it's like the it's almost like the road is maintained. Just rough enough so you feel like you're on an adventure. <laughs> like they did it on purpose, so it's just rough enough. But not rough. Not too rough. Hey! What was that? You guys see that run across the street? What was that? It almost looked like a little bear. It really did. Now watch the moms right here. Just hey, where where'd you go? Where'd you go, little buddy? That would be awesome if I saw a bear today. We would be so happy, guys, to see a bear. I don't think we're going to see one, but I can always keep my hopes high. Glad we have a lot of time to drive this road because I forgot where it goes or how long it is. So wherever it ends, I'm gonna be surprised. I'm sure. Now, if we end up in like Lake Arrowhead, I'm not gonna be too thrilled. But oh well, it is what it is. Especially at this rate. Now the roads get a little bit rough. Don't want to pop a tire here. Don't want to do it. Especially with a cliff right here. Hello, Mr. Cliff. We are not a fan of the cliff. Wow, look at, look at that view. That's Lake Arrowhead down there. Oh wait, no, that's Big Bear Lake, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that, that was Big Bear Lake. Wow, we are, wow, this is a cool perspective. Look at that view. I don't remember seeing Big Bear from this view before. That's Big Bear down there. And then in the background, you can barely see the lake. Let me try and zoom in. Yeah, you can't see it through the camera, but well, that's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Anybody uh, get to watch the fights this last weekend? How sick were those fights? Like every night or every fight was like any other UFC fight of the night. It was insane. Insane. The Gaethje Chandler fight was insane. Dude, seeing Frankie get knocked out like that, that was, that, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. Because remember what Sandman did to him with that flying knee. So, yeah, it's... Uh, unfortunate but man that main event though colby almost almost came out with it you know that would have been crazy it was nice he and kamaru showed respect afterwards that was nice colby's kind of a douche and uh but i know it's it's all part of drawing in butts for the seats so they can make more money but sometimes you just gotta be careful <laughs> but but then again, 
people will buy the fights because they want to see him get his butt kicked and his so he's accomplished what he's trying to do oh, this is really cool I have no idea where I am but this is really cool it's really beautiful back here I say that so much thank god I don't sound like Sylvester Stallone saying it's beautiful all the time hey 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 beautiful hey that's beautiful hey <laughs> Or that could be John Travolta, one of the two. <laughs> hey, it's so beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Hey, hey. All right. I'm not going to be on Comedy Central anytime soon, at least not for my comedy. Maybe for my looks, but not for my comedy. Wow, look at this valley down here, or this uh, canyon. Whoa there, chipmunk. See how fast that guy crossed the street here? Doing the jaywalking too. All right, man. This is crazy beautiful. I know I'm. I'm doing the best I can with the camera right now, guys. I really am. The road is a bit bumpy. It's not bad. You you could all make it in your regular all-wheel drive cars, no problem. Even your regular two-wheel drive cars just go around all the all the danger. All the danger. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't see that danger. <laughs> <laughs> that danger snuck up on me. We call that sneaky danger. Down under. <laughs> oh, there's no more sneaky danger coming around this corner. Crikey! Sneaky danger! <laughs> Alright, I've had enough. I've had enough of the sneaky danger. This is this is reminding me. I'm not kidding you guys of the little Arctic Circle, like as they were building it. I'm not kidding. This is probably what it was like. It kind of, you know, we're in a can, or like in a, a horseshoe kind of a area like that. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. It's, and it's like right when they blew up the side of the mountain and they haven't paved the road yet or, or done much. Look, this totally feels like the little Arctic Circle when you're driving from like uh, when you get up to the top of that big canyon, you guys, when you drive that 10 mile stretch from there to Big Bear and it's all those beautiful views down the canyon, this is what it feels like, like as they were building it. Obviously, I don't know what it was like. So like that, yeah, like I'm assuming this is what it felt. Oh, watch the road, Nick. Jeez Louise. Crazy man. This is crazy man. It's okay. Alright. Okay, now I'm getting a little nervous because the road's getting a little more narrow a little narrow here. Oh, there's road down there too. Hello road! I hope I didn't wake up any campers being an idiot yelling yelling out here. Is that a car behind me? No. I'm seeing things. I thought that was a car behind me. I'm like, oh great, this is a perfect like ambush point, right? When all my cell phone juice goes out, or my cell phone, uh, my reception is not good enough to, <laughs> to reach a cell phone tower from here. I can't even speak straight, I'm so tired. Usually I can't speak straight anyway. But... Look at look at the road going up the side of the hill, the hill there. I hope that's where we're going. I think it is. After we get by this danger. This is pretty danger. I'm not a fan of this danger. Oh wow. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. I keep on forgetting my car is lifted. And that's why I'm always pretty safe. Sometimes when I get into a little hectic jam, I'm going a little fast and I hit a bump. Thank goodness for being a couple inches higher. Because if I wasn't, a couple times maybe I would have busted open my transmission pan or something. Done that before. Not in this car, obviously, but I've done that in my other car that has been sitting for a few years now. My Saturn, my 2003 Saturn L200. 
show you to show you guys how, how how big of a bum I was. That was my grandfather's car, <clears throat> and when he was about to to move on, he uh, he signed it over to me because I was taking care of him, and uh, that was just that was just awesome. Every every time I see the car, I think about him. It makes me really sad. But anyway, we, we won't talk about sad stuff. At least not much. Gosh, this is really cool though. Hey, watch out, chipmunk. There's something else on the road up here. That's a rock, I think. Yeah, that's not another chipmunk. A stationary chipmunk. Before I moved up here, I didn't realize how small they were, chipmunks. As a kid, I loved Alvin and the chipmunks. You know, Alvin, Simon, Theodore, all of them. Even the chickmunks. Um, but that's what they—that's what they should have called the girls, chickmunks. <laughs> um, yeah, I love them, but I—I I, I didn't realize how little they are. And until I moved up here, I'm like, oh my gosh, those baby squirrels are so cute. I thought they were baby squirrels. Oh man. Guys, I can be humble in front of you guys for sure. Because you guys won't make fun of me too much. So that's good. Okay, do we want to go this way? I don't think so. I don't want to make an abrupt U turn right there, so we're just going to keep going straight. There's a lot of roads back here, guys. It's pretty cool. Oh, here's another one. What's, where's that one leading to, huh, there? Guys, we have a lot of these roads to, to check out eventually, don't we? We're just gonna stay on this, though. We're not playing any games. <laughs> I don't know what games I'd be referring to, but... Oh, come on. I don't wanna go over these big guys like that, but I'm gonna have to. God dang it, man, come on. All right, do I wanna go up that way? You know what? This is ridiculous. We're gonna we're gonna go up this way. We're gonna go up this way. Because we could go that way. If you guys can see a little bit, but we're not. We're gonna go this way. No idea where if we're even still on 2N or 3N14. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think the requests were for 3N14. I don't know why I was thinking 3N19. I know there's a a 3N19, and I think I had a request for that too. So I will do all of these eventually, especially because you guys want me to do it. Like, that's so cool. I love doing this, so any excuse to get out and do more, guys, like, this is awesome. This is fun. And it gets my mind off of just life. In life's other issues. This road's a little jacked. Little rocky poo. Yeah, I'm almost ready to rip that dang CB radio and stuff like that out of my car because it keeps on jiggling like that no matter how tight it's screwed in and there's there were a couple holes put in my glove box door to fit those on there but I thought about it I was like oh I could just probably call and just replace the door just have them send me a new door so I don't care if there's holes all over this door I'll, I'm, I'm contemplating ripping these out it's just, it's fun. They're fun to, it's fun to talk on my loudspeaker and mess with people once in a while. Not in a bad way, you guys. Just having fun. Like if I drive by a friend, hey, what's up, buddy? On the loudspeaker, cracks everyone up. I make sure there aren't any police around. <laughs> Like holidays, I'll I'll drive down streets and go, Merry Christmas, Merry 
Merry Christmas. Guys, look how awesome this is, man. I can't believe we're doing this. I should get less sleep. We'll do more things like this. Wow, so we came from all the way over there. There's nobody else on this road at the moment. We are the Lone Rangers. I'm just watching my dashboard, like hoping the, the tire light doesn't come on. Because if it comes on in here, I know I got a problem. That canyon is beautiful. It really is, there's just something about it. It's like a snake type of, I don't know. Here, we're not gonna play with this guy right here. I was gonna try and clear him, but I didn't want to scrape anything underneath. Just like this one, we're gonna go around this guy. Barely. <laughs> lights on nice nice is but it would say nice Chinkui. today I recorded a video behind the dam so you guys can see what it looks like back there and see why Big Bear's water is or Big Bear's Lake is always low I'm showing you guys with your own eyes and your ears you can hear the water flowing out of there like crazy you couldn't see it as well today because I walked down further the last time but I was with a few more people and it was just so cold but I zoomed in so you guys could, could see the flow of water leaving and you could hear how loud it was though As I said, they're not doing anything wrong. This, this, this was an agreement that they had many, 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 many years ago with some of our neighbors down the mountain that for some reason, they own the rights to the water, which is our water and Big Bear, they own the rights to. <laughs> like, it's just crazy, so. But I understand because they had farming down there before we had a town up here. And so the snowpack would create a decent amount of irrigation water and they wanted to capitalize on that. And so they dammed it up up there and uh, yeah, and that's what they have done. It's so pretty out there. Look at that like light brush. That really bright like white brush out there. That's it's really pretty. Man, this is really nice back here. And we had a super windy day yesterday, so I knew Eric, Eric like our views across these canyons and stuff, even though they aren't that far in distance, still from that wind we had yesterday definitely cleared the air quite a bit, even up here. So we're able to see very clearly up here right now. It's, it's gorgeous. I think we're at about 7,500 feet, maybe 8,000 feet at the most. Back to some bumpy road. Bumpy road. Take me home to the place I belong. Okay, what is this? What is this? What is this? No target shooting. Oh, there's a shooting range right. Or wait, or maybe not. There's not. Well, what's going on? Why is there a sign right there that says no shoot, no target shooting? 
just like they think that that's like the, a, like a special spot that people go. I'm I have no idea. And they don't want people shooting over there. I have no idea. Or I thought it was like a gun range, an outdoor gun range, and and uh, they have a certain way they want you to shoot. I have no clue. Clearly, story of my life. Story of my life. Look at how awesome this is up here, you guys. This is just so pretty. I mean, for the most part, guys, this is a pretty darn good road. <laughs> for the most part. There's a couple little sketchy areas, but it's, it's not even sketchy. Just a couple kind of rougher areas. Guys, there's like enough room and flat area way up here to build another town. Just like over in the Holcomb area, and it's just so cool. I love it, dude. Just seeing it so untouched like this. Here's some more signs. This looks like a little stream crossed through here. So we gotta be careful getting through here. Come on. Oop, oop, oop. There, we made it. Yeah, I'm thinking that deep little gully was formed from runoff water right there. It was deep. That's the only thing that leads me to believe. What happened? Okay, here's another off-road. 3N97. This is going into this area, guys. Wow. The area that I'm road closed one mile ahead up there. I guess we, we could have checked it out, but I don't want to get lost. I don't want to get lost. Especially we're already this deep on this ride right now. I do not want to get lost. Look at this other big, like, prairie area. Jeez. San Bernardino National Forest, you are beautiful, my dear. You are one beautiful woman. All right. We're going to kind of hit the gas a little bit more, even though I don't want to because it's so pretty out here. I'm hoping this takes us through Holcomb. So you guys can see like the rest of the drive as if you're doing the whole drive. I don't know if that's where it's taking us. I could look at my GPS on the phone, but then I'd have to stop recording and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Man, this prairie area, huge. Is, guys, I don't even know if I'm still on 3 and 14. If I'm not, like, I don't know what I'm gonna put in the title of this video, like, because I don't know how far I went on 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 either one of these if I even changed. Because I want you guys to to be able to know. Because I want you guys to be able to take this this drive. It's beautiful, it's so beautiful. It's just man, nature is so beautiful. walking path right or no it's it's a driving trail guys i promise you we are going to do these things we will that's two three and 14 g you got to be a g to go on that one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was a little bumpy let's kind of go around these little bumpers here 
Look at this, guys. Look at, this is a big forest up here. And it's flat everywhere. You know what? I think we're coming up to Holcomb, maybe. This is a huge flat area. Huge flat area. And we're coming into another gate. So I'm wondering where this is leading to. Look at how thick these gates are. Jeez Louise. All right. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, here's some signs. Apple Valley, no. We're gonna go to Holcomb. Because we don't wanna to go to Cactus Flats or back to Fawn Skin. We're going to Big Pine Flat. We're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Three, oh, look, 3N16. What is going on, guys? We are 3N16ing it. How cool is that, guys? It's like an intersection up here. That was awesome. There's just roads everywhere. Campsites, campgrounds. It's so pretty up here. It's 7.45 in the morning. It's 36 degrees. So we must be at a decent elevation. I'm assuming we're at like 7,800 feet. Because as I said, at the bottom it was 42 degrees. Okay, don't bottom it right here. That's not going to be cool. I'm like two wheeling it here. Yeah, we're gonna get back. We're gonna get up here. said like seven miles or something to get to where we're going so that's gonna be a long time <laughs> I think look at all this flat area up here it's so amazing and there's nothing up here they could put like a small town up here that'd be pretty cool I know we want to keep it as untouched as possible but I think having another little town like in the Holcomb area like there used to be or here that'd be kind of cool have regular paved roads come all the way up here. That would be very cool. Okay. Hang on, guys. This is a little, little deep one here. Oh, we were on three tires for a second. Very cool. Very cool. as fun as the other one. I don't like this one as much. It's not as maintained. Oh. Just drive, Nick. Just drive. Coming into another big old prairie area on the other side of those hills that we were just on.
kitchen, buddy. Sorry about that sun, you guys. the process a lot of these fires up here are caused uh, due to dry lightning we'll get thunderstorms that don't produce any rain just lightning yeah we're getting a bit over this road now not a fan not a fan but don't drive impatiently dude or that's when trouble will happen just be patient, get through this little bit of rocks right here, and you're good for maybe 20 feet. Oh, that sun's gonna go over the hill. Yes. Sorry. Sorry for so long, you guys were staring at the sun. I was too. <laughs> interested to see where in Holcomb this road takes us. Wow, we're definitely up here. I'm so turned around, you guys. I have no idea where, which way Big Bear Lake is. No clue. It could be any direction as far as I'm concerned. Right, let's make it through. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Still no flat tires, that's good. Good, good, good. Didn't expect this video to be this long. My arm's getting tired holding the camera. <laughs> and trying to make my arm like a gimbal also, so I'm like absorbing all the, all the bumps and stuff the best I can. to another open open area up here a big valley oh, there's just it's just you, you you go from like one scenery to a whole completely different scenery it's 36 degrees nice and sunny Wish we had some weather. Let's put it in a lower gear. Just in case. Because we are kind of going down a steep grade. <sighs> Sorry about that glare right there, you guys. I'm doozing the best I can. That's a little bit hairball, guys. That's a little scary. Being on the edge like that, having to go over that big old, jeez, that was not fun. I had my heart going a little bit, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. This is not my favorite road. I'm not a fan at all. I wonder why I'm picking up speed fast. I'm in my low gear. <laughs> I 
Now, if I had like good tires for doing this, I would have no complaints because this is fun. But in this car, with these tires, it's, it's not, so it's a little more risky. Okay, Big Bear Lake's gotta be that direction. There's San Gorgonio. This, oh wait, is, yeah, I think that is the end of San Gorgonio, or that part of the mountain. The snowy part is, is behind this mountain peak right here, you can't see it. There's another big bump right here, great. Come on, go. No, that wasn't that bad. switching too. This is tough. It's, I'm using my other hand now. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get through this, buddy. Let's get through this. You don't have to do this for a while now. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I like doing these things for you guys, man. Especially when it's something like you guys are so interested in. Then I'm like, yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. But I hope you guys are getting a sense of how bumpy this road is. Jeez, it's not, it's not fun. Okay, here's a little bit of stretch it looks like where I'll be free for a minute. Free from the bondage of dips. back so fast it seems it really does it really goes back fast it really seems like it does here's another off-roading adventure area there's a sign right there don't know what it says can't read it from here let's see if i can see it from here no i, I can't read it I'm trying to like step on it a little bit so we can get to Holcomb eventually because as I said way back there it said like seven miles so we got to be about halfway there at least we're close to it stuff up here you guys it would take you so long to do all the different exploring up here because there is just so much it's everywhere so much to do for all you outdoors people the phone's gonna overheat in just a second I can feel it the sun's beaming right through the windshield. Once we start turning a different direction, we'll be okay. As long as we stay on this other direction, which it doesn't appear so. Oops, slow down. Alright. Damn it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, I don't like this. You guys see this? That's nutty. You know what, let me back up real quick and just uh, get a different view of it, or a better view. You know, that's what I'm, I'm gonna go around the, to the right and go over these big guys. Wow. Don't scratch the car, please, 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 please. Wow, that was a little bit scary, but we made it. Two inch lift, I guarantee you, was instrumental there, guys.
gonna put the phone out the window since it's still in the 30s out there and record that way since we're going slow, just so the phone doesn't overheat. Hang on, guys. different in here now <laughs> it's like we're going from one scene to another again it's really cool okay so here's another road well look at this road that looks pretty damn scary you guys see how gnarly that is? Are you kidding me? Yeah, not for our car. That's definitely not for our car. Not happening. Not happening, my friend. Oh my gosh. What view is this, guys? Look at this view to the left. Hang on, let me get out here. This view to the left. Oh my gosh, it's insane. What is that down there? You guys, that's, that's the desert. Holy crap. We're way back here? That's the desert down there, guys. Look at that. That's the desert. Wow. Unreal. Super stoked that we got to see that. I was like, why are we so high up? Big Bear's not way down below us that far. There's no mountains that high around here. <laughs> but we're looking all the way down to the desert over there. That's really cool, guys. Cool. All right. Come on, you damn son. Why do you have to be right in the direction we're going most of the time? I just want to see what, or like, I want to see what my reaction is. I'm not going to act any differently because the camera's pointing at me, I promise. Just like as I'm driving to like see my, uh, if I make any weird faces when I'm coming up to these bumps or anything like that. Just for a second, you guys still have a little bit of a view. I know I'm ruining it, but uh, yeah. You guys like the Ray-Bans? Woo, pimpin'. Pimpin' be pimpin' be pimpin'. Pimpin' be pimpin' be pimpin'. Okay, that's enough of me. Uh, that's probably exactly where everyone's never gonna watch past. Like, oh my God, they found Sasquatch. He's the one behind the video recorder. <laughs> Sasquatchik. My name is Sasquatchik. 
I'm from Saskatchewan. This road isn't so bad right now. I'll shut up. I'll do the best I can. Nope. Spoke too soon. Whoa, 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 there. Yeah, now I'm not being smart. Just letting go of the brake right here. But that's, and I'm not holding the brake the whole time, you guys. I hardly ever use my brake. I try to use lower gears to compensate for the braking. It still feels like we're on some Disneyland ride, you guys. I really hope you guys feel the same way too. What is this view over here? What is that I must ask? What is that I might ask? Oh, there's a little, a little, I don't know, a little trail to walk down. Or if you're one of these cheap off-road guys, you'll probably have the courage to go down that road too. Get the ass that's making me jealous that you guys got a badass car and I don't. Mine does what it needs to do. Mine gets me through our snow up here. This isn't it, like an off-roading channel. But who knows? Who knows? If I win the lottery, maybe we'll get a big truck because we can't go through this all the time. Look at this, guys. This is not good. Not good. Hey, I don't know. I wasn't asking you, Rocky. Hey. All right. Get through that, finally. Seriously, it's like a like a quick few seconds of panic <laughs> when I see stuff like that. Because I haven't talked to anybody who's gone down this road in a long time or any one of you guys who's mentioned it except for wanting me to check out some of the roads. Um, in the Fonskin area, or that start near Fonskin, and so the one that I got on originally on this video was, uh, I think, like the like the main one, or one of the only ones that I know in Fonskin, or that starts in Fonskin. So I was hoping I went to the right one. I'm pretty sure I did. Still no lights for flat tires. That's good. Got the dip and another dip. Oh, look at this one. This one was looks like it was wet fairly recently. Oh, yeah, we did have rain, but it wasn't that much. Watching the news when we have storms and stuff, it frustrates me because they, they just over dramatize things way too much when it comes to our weather and and it never pans out guys where am i supposed to go there's four roads here where am i supposed to go where am i supposed to go i think we're just gonna stay straight i mean i have no idea that looks like a big road though right there i have no idea that sucks oh wait that was closed over there yeah we're going straight I really don't like that, guys. They didn't have any signs right there. What's I, like? What's up with that? Like, at least try to make it as easy as possible for us to to maintain a sense of where we're at. Because it's probably easy to get lost out here, especially when you're not in a car. So, the signs should be a little more. Uh, there should be a little more signs. At least that's what I think. That's my two cents on it. I thought I saw a car up here coming up our way, but I could be wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. 
Mansion. I don't know why these roads are close, some of them. See, this would be so beautiful, guys, if there was like a river flying through here, right here. I really wish we we lived in that type, or that was what type of area this is. I wish we were like the Rocky Mountains here, where it's actual like mountains. Once again, like this mountain range, if you drive up from one side and then drive down the other, it, it only takes like an hour and a half from, from the shortest points. I, I could do it in an hour and a half. Maybe an hour and 45 minutes. pretty this is with snow everywhere though. I have no idea where we're at you guys. No clue. The roads don't have good markings. Alright. Not that they should. I should probably know where I'm going. It's usually the smart thing to do when you're going on these trails is to at least try to find, figure out where you're going first have kind of a little bit of a plan. I'm jumping on the immediate gratification wagon. Hey, first road, we'll take it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. We're definitely going down. around these curves because there could be other people flying like on their dirt bikes or ATVs or whatever just want to be very careful I don't want to get in an accident today I mean I feel like we're getting closer to something I don't know what is this like stuff that they they took out of the mines is that all dirt from the mines or something I have no idea there's a lot of mines up here gold mines you guys there's lots of gold mines up here. I met someone who actually lives off the gold up here, if you can believe it. He's really good at finding it, and he's always finding it. It's pretty crazy. Can't remember his name, but I remember talking to him, and uh, no, he was as genuine as it gets. I know a BSer when I see it. And trust me, my BS meter was on big time. But once he started telling me more and more and more and the process and what he does and yeah, it's just small flakes and stuff typically. But there have been little chunks. Okay, look at this. Once again, we're in like there's like a flat prairie area and there's a road over there. Look guys, here's another road coming up. What is going on? It's like an abandoned metropolitan area or something. Okay, what's this sign say? Fire restriction, off-road travel is prohibited today. Here's 3N54. But hey, let's not tell us what road we're on now though. Why do that? Why inform us? Ah, because that would be too easy. They want you to get lost so you can call and pay like $700 to get towed out of here. And they and most tow trucks won't even come out here. You'd have to pay for like a, an off-road. Here's 3N08 to the Oh man, I don't even know where the hell we're going. But we're going. We're going to stay in this guy. Arr. Arr. 
This thing is so annoying. I seriously, I just want to rip it right out of the glove compartment box door. they were planting trees over here or, or, or doing something wow okay we're oh, oh this is holcomb here we go here we go i think we made it to holcomb yes guys this is where we turned the other day yes yes we made it yes we made it see do you remember guys we went down that way and then we turned around and came back here this is it I believe so. This is it. We're safe. We are safe, folks. We're going to get some nice Holcomb view again. This whole area, guys, is so pretty. Well, once again, it's like when you, when you come out to this huge, huge prairie, I mean, it's just mind-blowing how big it is. Mind-blowing. Because you don't expect that up here. You don't expect to see that up here. And then, so imagine if you're just hiking up here and then you came across this. You would, you'd probably be, be a bit shocked. Not if you didn't know. Look at how big, guys. If you didn't know that this is here. So we did that whole drive, guys. The one that we, we didn't complete the other day because I was too nervous. so big and then these beautiful like tunnels of trees it's just so cool happen when you're going fast like this. You'll hit a bump that you don't see coming up and get a flat tire or something. But I'm willing to pay that price. Let's do it. We gotta take that one one of these days. We will, I promise. We'll come back up here and then we'll turn right there before we get to Holcomb and take that where it goes. Where it leads. Where she leads, I. I can't believe I had to walk all the way down to the road, being stuck way out, way over here in my car five or six years ago. It was snow, there was snow and ice everywhere. It was a cold day. 
wasn't snowing at, on that day, but it was cold. Up here, I think it was in the 20s. Sir. We sure got a wide road here. I like that. Try to avoid whatever we can. Okay, let's go let's switch back. Seriously guys, I'm ready to get back. <laughs> and then I still have a long drive when we get out of here back to the, back to the other side of the lake. And not a long drive, but after you've lived up here for many years, these short little drives that I used to like laugh at people when they would be like, yeah, I live way on the other side of town. Yeah, I, I never get out to this side of town because I live out there and like I would laugh because it's not far, just a few miles. But now that, I'm, now that I've lived here for so many years now, seven years, these short distances feel a lot further. Like that seven miles we just did, it took like 45 minutes. I really can't see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't see any of those. Oh, there's a big rock in the street there. Okay. Well, we're making, we're making good time. like saying to slow down to 15 for the turn up here when I thought that you couldn't even go 15 up here. I thought I was breaking the law. Now it's not as fun anymore. Because I'm not breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. And then remember guys, real quick up here, we get onto a paved road for like 100 yards and then it's not paved anymore. I mean, why did they do that? Pavement ahead. Don't blink, guys. The pavement ends soon, right after we get onto it. Here's the pavement. Whoop! And we're paved. And we have paved the way. And it's about to be unpaved again. Oh, chipmunk running, running, running. Oh, whoa, whoa. We just caught a little bit of air there. Got like three feet of air. You ever go off any sweet jumps with that thing? That was the worst Napoleon Dynamite ever. Gosh. Eat the food. <laughs> called when he was yelling at it trying to feed it I forgot what they're called alpaca or something like that look see no more freaking paved road like what's the point of that 
Talk about a waste of money. My hard earned tax dollars not at work. Everybody must work. Whoa, work. Everybody must work. Work harder. when you should be in school. That will make you a rich man. That will make you a fool. Everybody must work. Oh, work. Oh, man. You guys hear that pop? Poppity pop, pop, pop. Snap, crackle, freaking pop. I don't know what that was, but I didn't like the sound of that. I almost cursed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I hope we get a really nice view of the lake though coming down here. We should. Oh boy. That was a five foot paved part. That's phenomenal. I wonder what that was all about. We don't want to go down that route. So we're going to go down this route. If this was more flat, if it was just flat without any of these dips, man, it would be so much fun to drift this damn road. I just wish it didn't have these little dips in it, man. Boy, boy, and I won't bore you guys with the drive home, or I won't bore you guys anymore with the drive home. Those of you who stuck through. I remember one time I made a comment, or I've made a comment a few times, but uh, one of the times towards the end of a long video, I was like, and for the two of you still watching, and then a lot of you actually responded like, hey, we're still watching. That made me really happy. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. It made me happy. So happy. It was a fun time. You guys always make me so happy. Look at the lake. That's Big Bear Lake, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys can see it real well, but that was definitely Big Bear Lake. No other lake around here like that. Yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys think about the, the video I upload also today or, or tomorrow about um, seeing all that water leaving Big Bear's Dam. It's a bummer. Like, as I said, they're not doing anything wrong. It's it's not like they're hiding something from us. I just never knew that that's how much water was always being let out for these towns down the hill for their irrigation. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Let's bump, bump. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. All right. so happy we're at the end of this <laughs> it was fun don't don't get me wrong a little stressful at some points but i didn't expect the video to be like an hour and a half long so i apologize about that you guys but i hope you enjoy it man have a good time just have a good thing than we did this 
drive. Well, we didn't do this drive. We did part of this drive the other day. That was pretty cool. To kind of drive behind the mountain range a whole bunch there for a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, oh Nelly. I'm doing the best I can, you guys, I really am. As I said, when I hook up the GoPro to that stand right there, it's fine, but the GoPro takes like two or three times longer to upload. That's the problem. Every gimbal that I've bought, or that, and that you guys have bought for me to try to help out with this, uh, it just doesn't, none of them work because it's just too bumpy every time. The iPhone's too heavy or something. I'm telling you guys, you'd be surprised. My hand is doing a way better job than any of the gimbals that I have. I guarantee you. n19 and 3n16 i believe and then i can't remember what this last one was but hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and i will talk to you guys later it's november 10th 2021 peace out everybody be safe and uh yeah looking forward to hearing from you guys bye